Hello and welcome to Double Award Physics Electricity, Episode 1, Series and Parallel Circuits. As the title suggests, we're going to look at series and parallel circuits in this episode. We will look at how current travels around them, how voltage is used up, and how Ohm's law applies to all of the resistors. Before we do that, let's check some previous definitions. First definition is that of charge. Charge is something that's carried by electrons, and because it would be foolish to try and count the number of electrons in total travelling around a circuit, because that would be enormous, we measure charge in a grouping called coulombs. If you are a large group of electrons of a certain number, then you are a coulomb. Much the same as a dozen, or a score, or a squad, or a century, or anything like that, you've got a set number. Voltage is the amount of energy in joules given to each coulomb of charge. So if I give each coulomb of charge 6 joules, then that means that the voltage is 6 volts. If a resistor removes 6 joules of energy per coulomb of charge, then that resistor is using 6 volts. Current is the number of coulombs passing a particular point in 1 second. This is the flow of charge around a circuit. Remember that a circuit is absolutely filled with electrons, so in order for one electron to move, generally speaking, another one has to move out of its way. That's important. And finally, resistance. Resistance is a property of something that removes energy from a coulomb of charge, or it reduces the current in a circuit. Often, it does both. Most regular resistors both slow down the flow of charge and remove some energy from a, from a piece of coulomb of charge. Ohm's law says that V equals I times R. Written in a mathematical triangle, this is V, I and R. If I cover up the piece that I want, that means that I can rearrange the equation in any form I want. So if I want V, that leaves me with I times R. If I want I, that is V over R. And if I want R, that is V over I. Remember that I is current measured in amps. Sorry about that. Anyway, moving on, let's have a look at some of our series circuits. So in order to get a series circuit, I have to draw myself a battery. One cell, two cells. The minimum required for a battery. Set the polarity, which is positive there and negative there. Now polarity basically means that you label the plus and minus of the battery. Remember, people don't like small people, so the small stick is negative. The tall stick is positive. Let's get ourselves some wires going on. So there's one wire, two wires, another one, and another one around here, and around here, and around here. Okay, and we're going to stick a resistor between there to give ourselves something to do. Okay, so let's say we have a 6 volt battery. That means that each little coulomb of charge that gets ejected from my battery comes with 6 joules of energy. Okay, so we're going to call these 6 volt coulombs. Okay, so that's 6 volt coulomb there. Now my little 6 volt coulomb will travel its way around, hit the resistor, bounce its way all along it, and come out the other side. When it comes out the other side of the resistor, however, it will have zero volts remaining. Okay. As a rule, basically all we have to do is end up back at the battery with zero volts. How we get rid of our voltage along the way will depend on the size of our resistors, the number of the resistors, and how they are organized inside my system called a circuit. Okay, so this is a nice simple one that I started off. I had six volts of attached to each of my coulombs of charge. It travels around here, kind of. Remember that it doesn't really travel that fast. One coulomb hits the next, hits the next, hits the next. But anyway, the coulomb of charge going in here is a 6 volt coulomb. It has 6 joules of energy per coulomb. And coming out of there, it has 0 volts. So that means that this resistor has used 6 volts of voltage. Okay, so 6 volts of voltage has come out of here. Okay, it's the only way you could go from 6 volts to 0 volts. Now, applying Ohm's law to that, um, I would need to know the resistance of this resistor or the current traveling through. So let's say that we know the resistor. 
and it's printed on the side, let's say we know that this is an 18 ohm resistor. Oh, let's get myself symbol. There we go. Because this is an 18 ohm resistor. Now let's go back and grab our little triangle. So I'll bring that with me. I'll bring that too. So copy that. Paste it in here. Alright, so what am I trying to find out? I'm trying to find out the current that's coming into this resistor and the current going out of it. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take Ohm's law and I want to use it between two points. Ohm's law will work between any two points on any given circuit. So I'm going to take Ohm's law between going into the resistor here and coming out of the resistor here. Now, I know that the voltage difference between those two points is 6 volts. Okay, I had 6 volts going in and I have none coming out. So I have 6 volts of difference. I know that the resistance of that resistor is 18 ohms and I want to find the current. I is unknown. Okay, so what I do is I wish to find I. I take that and cover that up and that leaves me with I equals V over R. Pop in the numbers. I therefore equals V which was 6 divided by R which was 18. So I is 6 over 18 which is one third, which is 0 0.33 amps. So I know now that my current going in here is 0 0.33 amps, and because of the fact that there is no choice for where my current goes to, I know that the current coming out of here is also 0 0.33 amps, and actually at any given point on this series circuit, the current will be 0 0.33 amps. In part two, we will discuss what happens when we have multiple resistors in series.